Let's make a gradient or a circle in After Effects. This technique is used often by the pros with stunning results, but there are very few comprehensive tutorials on the subject. So here we are. First, I needed to do some research and what I uncovered completely changed my whole mindset about motion design and how to animate these aura circles. So for context, this was the initial setup I had for creating these. Let's start here with a comp called Aura Pre and a background layer. Then inside the comp, there is a BG layer and a bunch of circles of different sizes that each have a wiggle expression applied to their position property with slightly different values for variation. Then an adjustment layer on top with a fastbox blur set to 60 gives us this. Now, back in the main comp with the Aura comp selected, we can double click on the ellipse tool to create a mask, double click again, and then holding Ctrl and Shift, scale down the mask. Now, add an inner glow, set it to the pink color with no blending mode, 100% opacity, and 60 for the size. Then let's add an outer glow, also set to pink with no blending mode, 30% opacity, and 60 in size. And now we have a basic animated Aura circle. And this is an acceptable result, but really it's pretty much just a bunch of furry balls moving around randomly. It doesn't have the panache we're looking for. And that's when I came across this project by Ordinary Folk. And what a tasty project this is. Such a delicious motion snack. And look, gradient aura circles everywhere and really nice ones too. But what caught my eye was this. It's right here, how they did it, free juicy info. But I'm just thinking to myself, what an absurdly complicated way to create this effect. But the quality of the results are undeniable. And that got me thinking, so I hope you'll allow me to go on what I think is a really interesting tangent. So the movie Into the Spider-Verse. The visual language of this movie went way beyond anything we had seen from 3D movies before. In fact, they created a bunch of their own tools just to achieve the aesthetic they were after. And I had the privilege of watching a talk by the producer on the film, Aaron Warner, on behalf of Peter Ramsey. And one of the things he mentioned is that they had this problem of creating windows in their massive cityscapes. They needed a ton of stylized windows that were not only unique from one another, but also looked like they had some sort of interior space within them. So what did they do? Of course, they designed their own system to automatically generate unique window scenes made up of these morphing rectangles. And I just thought that was such an interesting and creative solution to the problem. So to bring it back, the solution ordinary folk came up with feels a bit like this. And this kind of blew my mind. It made me think about the whole process of motion design differently as this process of pushing the boundaries of our tools like After Effects in the most creative way possible in order to achieve a unique result. Okay, tangent over, let's get back to animated aura circles. Now, of course, my juices were flowing really hard at this point, dude. Phrasing. So instead of just reverse engineering their technique by ordinary folk, I came up with two more interesting results. But first, this is how I recreated the version by ordinary folk. For starters, we need the same setup as before, so I just duplicated the comp for the first one, maintaining the layer styles, mask and background, because now we can just get creative with what's inside the mask comp. Now, inside this pre-comp, to get that ordinary folk look, I created a bunch of shapes right in After Effects, I made them all 3D layers, and then I just started moving them around the center, as you can see from this top view, and rotating them to get a varied result. Then I created this null, made a 3D as well, and added the expression time times 150 to the Y rotation, so that it just constantly rotates. Then after parenting all the shapes to this null, you can see what we get. From there, I added an adjustment layer with a fastbox blur, but I made the blur a bit higher than before, at 70 in this case. Finally, I added an orange full effect to the background to complete the look. And this is what we get. And full disclosure, I actually did a lot of tweaking to the shapes like their scale, rotation, position, color, etc. to see how that affected the final look and did a lot of back and forth until I got something I liked. So if you recreate this, don't expect it to look great in the first round. Now let's take a look at the first option I came up with. I call it Aura 3 Galaxy Style. And I want you to imagine I'm saying it in a Japanese anime voice, kind of like this. Aura 3 Galaxy Style. This effect requires many nested comps, so let's start at the bottom where we just have a solid. The first thing I did was add a fractal noise set to dynamic, noise type, spline, contrast 3000, and the transform scale set to 280. Then I animated the offset turbulence in the Y axis to get it to move upwards like this. I also added an expression to the evolution, time times 200, so that it constantly evolves. And this is the result. 
Then I added a polar coordinates effect, changed rec to polar and the interpolation to 100%. Now to remove the black, I just added an extract effect and dragged this side in. Then I pre-comped this solid, so let's go up to that comp where I duplicated the fractal circle comp three times and added a filter each one to create three color variations. Then I changed the rotation of the two duplicates so that they're all evenly spaced. Finally, I just offset them by 12 frames and moved them all to the left to stagger their animation and that gives us this effect. Effect. Then I pre-comped these three comps which takes us to our final steps. I'll reset these effects so you can see what I did. Firstly, a fast box blur which I set to 40, then a 12 effect which I set to around 300 and changed the 12 radius to be about the size of the comp at about 40. Then I added a CC lens effect and changed the convergence to negative 200 to give this more of a convex marble like feel. And to counteract the size change, I just scaled up the comp to 200. Then I added a time times 100 expression to the rotation to add some extra spin. And this is our final result. And I really like this result because it feels a bit more like some of the gradient aura circles we see coming straight out of Adobe Illustrator. And I wanted to explore this a bit more, so I have one more experiment to show you. But before that, I just want to ask that you'd like this video if you found it helpful or interesting so far. This next one I called Aura 4. Gradient Special. So let's go to the bottom child comp and let me start over so you can see how it's done. I created this gradient shape layer, duplicated it and then dropped position keyframes two seconds apart and at the second keyframe I moved the position of the layer to right next to the original gradient layer. Then making sure my playhead is at the second keyframe I parented the first layer to the second so that it creates this seamless loop. Then to finish this off I added a loop out expression to the position and now we have an infinitely looping gradient. How sweet is that? That. Then I pre comp these layers, so let's go to that comp where I added a twirl effect to the gradient motion pre comp with similar settings to our previous at 350 for the angle and 40 as our twirl radius. And I want to just play this for you at this point because I think the result is pretty interesting. Then I added a time times 100 expression to the rotation to make this bad boy spin, and this is what the final looks like. And I want to challenge you to come up with your own ideas because as you can see, you can get really unique results depending on what you put in your masked pre-comp. So stick something dope in there and give it a cool anime name. Shout out to Jeet who requested this tutorial. I'm assuming it's Jeet or J33T. Either way, this was really fun so thanks for the suggestion. These are always welcome. Grab the project files below or purchase the mega pack to support the channel. And of course, hit subscribe to gain more motion XP.